Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with chapter 4 of Microwave Engineering, Transferred Electron Devices Family we are going to learn. So now we have shifted to the semiconductor platform for generation of microwave energy and in this family the very popular gun diode operation we have already learned with the help of gun effect and the Ridley Watkin Hillsum the RWS theory with the help of two valley model. In the previous video we have gone through the problem number one where we computed the conductivity for the device here. Let us take another problem to compute few of the other parameters of the gun diode operation. So here we start with the problem statement for problem 2. So it is given as a typical n-type gallium arsenide gun diode has the following parameters. The very first parameter is the threshold field. Here the field refers to the electric field denoted as capital E suffix TH. The value is provided to us that is 2800, 2800 in terms of volts per centimeter here it is. Now we have the second parameter named as applied electric field capital E is equal to 3200 volts per centimeter. The device length denoted by capital L is provided that is of the value 10 micrometers. Doping concentration represented as n suffix 0 is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 14 per centimeter cube. Lastly, the operating frequency denoted by f is having the value 10 gigahertz. And now we are required to compute the value of electron drift velocity in part A. In part B, we are required to calculate the current density and in part C, we are required to estimate the negative electron mobility. Now, as in the part A, we are required to calculate the electron drift velocity. Electron drift velocity is denoted by the symbol V suffix D here. So, V suffix D is equal to what is the question in part A. In part B, to calculate the current density, current density is referring to the cross-sectional current density J. So J is equal to what is the question in part B. And lastly, the estimation of negative electron mobility. Electron mobility we generally represent by mu. And for the negative electron mobility, we had represented the suffix N while having the simple derivation. So mu suffix N is equal to what is the question. Now here, the threshold field is given to 800 volts per centimeter that has to be converted into the SI system of units. Now the applied field is 3200. So this is the required condition that the applied field should be greater than that of the threshold field. Then and then only we shall be in the gun mode operation here. So it will be having a reduction into the drift velocity of the electron constituting the lower current density giving us the negative resistance curvature and finally the device operation. So here it is also to be converted into the SI system then the device length 10 micrometers. So 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 we need to take in replacement of micro a multiplicant here. The doping concentration is given in terms of per centimeter cube that also can be replaced in terms of per meter cube here. Finally, the operating frequency will be 10 into 10 raised to power 9 hertz simply. Now we go on computing the value of the drift velocity for part A. So in the part A, we represent the drift velocity by V suffix D. And V suffix D, as per the given parameters, we shall be using the frequency of operation and the device length. So VD is actually the multiplication of F into L here. VD is equal to FL. So in place of F, I put the value that it is 10 into 10 raised to the power 9. And L, the device length is given as 10 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 in terms of meters here. So this multiplication simply results into 10 raised to the power 5. As this is the velocity, drift velocity, 
the electrons drifted because of the applied electric field across the bulk gallium arsenide. So therefore, the velocity in terms of SI units represented 10 to the power 5 meters per second here. So as most of the times for the gun device, we take the help of centimeters, the dimensions into the use, we can also express the drift velocity computed VD is equal to, here we make it 10 to the power 7 centimeters per second here. So I outline both the forms for meters per second and centimeters per second. So this way we are computed with part A answer. So after completion of the electron drift velocity computed, we need to make calculations with respect to the current density J is equal to what? So now the current density J is given by the formulation whereas it depends on to the Q the electric charge into the total concentration of the electrons into the conduction band into the velocity here. Now the velocity is because of the drifting action therefore I represent VD there. Now it can also be expressed as the Q is the electric charge, electron is the charge carrier here therefore I denote E here into here we have N0 represented as per the problem statement given details and VD can be expressed as F into L here. So F into L portion we have already computed into the part A here. Therefore, substituting the values here, E can be replaced by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into here the concentration N suffix 0 is given as 2 into 10 to the power 20 here and multiplication to the frequency 10 gigahertz 10 into 10 to the power 9 and the L here in terms of meters it can be 10 microns micrometers it will be 10 to the power minus 5 simply. So we have substituted all the four parameters on this right hand side and finally the cross sectional current density can be obtained J is equal to we have 3.2 into 10 to the power 6 in terms of ampere per meter square. Most of the times gun diode uses the length dimension into the centimeters therefore we also represent the current density in terms of ampere per centimeter square here. So 10 to the power 6 can be absorbed if we get it to the form 3.2 into here we have 100 that is 10 to the power 2 express in terms of I write it one here ampere per centimeter square. So therefore it becomes J is equal to 320 ampere per centimeter square. So I outline this value as well as the value of current density expressed in ampere per meter square. So getting back to the problem statement we are covered with the calculation of the current density. Now in the part C we are left to find out the value of negative electron mobility denoted by mu suffix n here. Now the negative electron mobility for the part C is denoted by mu suffix n and it can be computed by a simple formulation that it is minus of Vd divided by capital E. Now Vd we have computed into the part A answer. Therefore here we keep minus as it is and the numerator can be replaced as 10 to the power 7 whereas E value is given to us in the problem statement. As per the problem statement the threshold value is 2800 volt per centimeter whereas applied field E this is important is to be substituted 3200 volts per centimeter. So here the right hand side becomes the denominator we get 3 to 0, 0. Both the numerator value and the denominator value we have expressed considering the dimension in terms of centimeters. Hence no conversion I have made. Therefore finally the negative 
mobility of electron we have obtained with the answer minus 3100 centimeter square per volt second here so here i outline the final answer so this way we are covered with the calculation of all the three answers for corresponding part a b and c for problem number 2 of gun diode by the next lecture we shall be addressing the next topic for the transport electron device gun diode that it is high field domain i hope you are definitely getting the details of microwave engineering practice very well for more information like this you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you